In the second gubernatorial debate ahead of the general election, the question came up again on how the candidates would raise teacher pay when the average salary in Mississippi stands at $45,000. We need to pay our teachers to the southeastern average, which is about uh, $51,000. Um, you know, Tate Reeves has been over there for eight years and had opportunities to do that and, and, and has not done that. So it will be a priority for me uh, to make sure that we, we pay our teachers at least the southeastern average. We've increased teacher pay in three of the last five years. Uh, we've increased it by $4,000 per year, but that's not enough. We don't pay our teachers what they're worth. Uh, we probably will never pay them exactly what they're worth, but I will tell you this, I have a plan to continue to increase uh, teacher pay. I announced it uh, along with a number of Gulfport school teachers uh, last week. And that plan includes $4,300 over the next four years. Jim Hood attacked Tate Reeves for an ad shot at a private school talking about public education. This private school, he has earmarked a million dollars uh, to that private school and then got $5,000 in campaign contributions. That's just not being truthful uh, with people when you're running TV ads talking about helping on education when you have it. Mr. Reeves, we want to give you a chance to respond. You have a minute. Thank you. Well, Mr. Hood's taking a campaign contribution from the leader of that school as well. Are you going to give that money back? I didn't give them a million dollars okay. a year like you have. And candidates were asked about developing a skilled workforce and business development. Jim Hood wants to be sure every student can go to community college tuition free. If you live in northeast Mississippi uh, and you believe Mr. Hood when he says he can send every kid in our state to community college for $6 million, I've got some oceanfront property to sell you in Clay County because that is just not realistic. That is typical liberal Democrat math. Promise you whatever that, that, you, that they think that you want and not worry about how they're going to pay for it. You can't get a grant or scholarship otherwise, then this is a fallback position and it can be done for six or eight million dollars. And, you know, he's just making up numbers. You know, he gets these corporate outfits to, to, to come up with these figures, but that's what it would cost us to send every kid who can't get a grant or scholarship otherwise to a community college and put them in the trade skill track. The candidates also touched on mental health and health care expansion. Tate Reeves says expanding the Affordable Care Act would mean raising taxes. Jim Hood says it would create jobs and more revenue for Mississippi. Jade Belexa, 12 News.